Hello, so today we're going to talk about tasting wine and obviously we all know how to, to taste wine, it's fairly straightforward, you put it in your mouth and you swallow it, uh, but there is a way of tasting your wine so that you can get a lot more out of your glass without spending any more money. So the trick is really, when it comes to tasting wine, is to remember that it's far more about smell than it is about taste and that's because our sense of smell is five times more powerful than our sense of taste, at least. And if we just take a glass of wine, which I happen to have here, and just do it, if you've got a glass at home when you're doing this, just try this. Take a glass, don't smell it, just sip it and, and have a little taste and swallow. So like this, you know, pretty pink wine. Mm -hmm. So, lovely. It, I can taste it tastes fruity, it tastes a little bit of red currants, um, but other than that it's just kind of cold, nicely chilled rosé. Now if you're going to taste it and get more out of it, what you've got to do is give it a swirl like this. So obviously don't put too much in your glass otherwise you'll end up with it down your front. And here's the important bit, stick your nose in it before you take a sip. So give it a swirl and really face plant it like this. Have a big sniff. Now, when you do that, what happens is uh, your, as soon as you smell it, your brain starts to go mad because it's trying to recognize the smells that you've, that you've just picked up with all those hundreds of receptors you've got in your nose. So at the moment, my brain is kind of flicking through its mental Rolodex, if you like, trying to recognize what it is I'm smelling. And by doing that, I've released all those lovely aromas into the glass and I can get it honestly it's so different to, to just have taking a sip like we did before you suddenly it's almost like my my taste buds now are ready to taste what I've just smelt so I've done that my brain's thinking about what it is I can smell then you, next you do the kind of sucking air in with wine thing which isn't a great look let's be honest and uh, I, I'm just to warn you, I'm not going to spit because not only do I spend my entire life telling my children not to spit, I have to do it in a professional capacity when I'm tasting, but this is just for you, so I'm not spitting because it's gross. Um, so we do this, have a sniff, now taste, I'll suck the air in and I'll wash the wine around my mouth a little bit, not like mouthwash, but just enough so that I can coat all the taste buds on my tongue, my gums, the back of the throat, and it just gives you a much better better picture of what this wine is like. It's like, it's like wine in HD really. So here we go. The sniff. Mm -hmm. So now I've got that. There is just so much more flavour to this wine having tasted it like that than before when we just had the quick sip. The flavours are still going on and on. There's lots of acidity in there which is the bit that makes your mouth water. But tasting it like that, it, it's almost like you've got, you've got a portable decanter in your mouth. So you might as well, when you take a sip, swish it about a bit, let the air get to it, really get all the flavours going so you can, t you can taste every single bit of the wine. So that's a quick guide to tasting wine. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, do share this with friends, subscribe, leave a comment below if there's anything else you want to talk about in future videos. I'd love to hear from you. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Bye.